Billionaire Elon Musk has scooped up one of Europe's most prestigious business awards previously won by some of the world's best-known entrepreneurs including Mark Zuckerberg and Jeff Bezos. The Tesla and SpaceX founder received the Axel Springer Award on Monday night, in Berlin Musk was heralded at the event by Germany's health minister Jens Spahn as someone who has made, seemingly crazy ideas become reality. However, never one to miss an opportunity to make his shareholders sweat, the world's third richest person, in conversation with Axel Springer CEO Matthias Doffner, reiterated that he thought the stock of his Tesla electric car maker was too high at $800 a share before it split 5 for 1 in August. Tesla closed Tuesday at $584 a share. On Tesla's rise over the last decade, Doffner put to Musk a 2014 conversation he'd had with a, very successful and famous, CEO of a German car maker, whose name was not revealed, about Musk's potential to disrupt the German car industry. Something that, at the time, very few thought possible. The CEO told Doffner back in 2014, not to worry, electric driving, was never going to be, mass market, and, these guys in Silicon Valley they have no clue about engineering, no clue, about building really beautiful and great cars. So we don't have to worry. Tesla's market cap was $23 billion at the time, Doffner noted. Today it's $536 billion, he said. You are with Tesla two and a half times bigger than BMW, VW and Daimler, Mercedes. A mischievous Musk couldn't resist the opportunity to tease his shareholders. I even said the stock was too high, he complained. What am I supposed to do? I said the stock was too high when it was $800 pre-split. No one listened to me. It's not the first time Musk has courted controversy over the rapidly rising share price of his electric car startup. In May, Musk landed himself in hot water after tweeting that, Tesla stock price is too high emo. Asked if he was joking, Musk replied in an email to the Wall Street Journal with just one word, no. Since then, shares have risen nearly 300%. The award is given by German publishing house Axel Springer to, outstanding personalities who demonstrate an exceptional talent for innovation create and transform markets, shape culture and also face their social responsibility. The theme of the night was one of Musk's favorite topics, life on Mars. Asked if he'd like to be buried on the red planet, Musk said yes, just not on impact. The Axel Springer headquarters was, transformed, for the event into a spaceship with pretend astronauts, a cabin crew voiceover charting the path of Musk's career and computer-generated space travel graphics. On the subject of when humans might first reach the red planet, Musk stuck to the time frame of, about six years from now, pointing to the Earth-Mars synchronization, alignment window that occurs every 26 months.